categories and our different capacities. I want to welcome all of you this day on which we are going to witness the ordination of six of our seminarians to the Aconics and the two of our deacons to priesthood. So those who have come from near and far, we want to say you are most welcome. Our readings for today's Mass are, for those of you who want to follow, our first reading will be from the first book of Samuel, the first book of Samuel, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. For our psalm, we shall take Psalm 40. We shall read verses 2 to 10. Our second reading will be from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 1 to 10 again. Our gospel will be from the gospel of St. John, Chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. Make me make para in Christ, in Rome, my tongue don't check it. I make a jolly room, in Legamatin, in Edomatin, Wabibe, or Nidhi. But a weird scenario of the CM, but if we will be not people, but we will be, if we don't, the pattern. The Bapoy of Minimo, Wekara, or Nipro Karachel, Pudu, Marcarachel, Pekrisa, Minimi Capital, Sadai Sizo, Kara, or Lenu Mimi, Wekara, Mongo. Me, we Matendo Kachel Wabitiku Yapara. We Miki Kwan, Ibedu Wen Madaudi, Namba Iramwen, Wachapu Basario, Wajin Apara. Kwan Mirario, the Ayuni, Waragan Kiyuda, with Madam Apish. Vasa Chel, Jigwa Pan. Lem Kwenda, Wabiti Kudi, Evangeli Malay, Ma Yohana Malay Kukiel, Chapter. Chapter 9, 
and also fast alone and country. Hong Kong, many different countries. Hong Kong, that would be the number at least three, and also fast India, very country. Lata ini sore, mungkin risu wara kembali si Brendan Malia, and also chapter Tawi, Bas Alo, Pere Mudri, Evangelio Amandri, Pan Redu, Ikazu, Evangelio Yohanes Malia, Basi, and also chapter Alo, Bas Alina di Tawi, Pere Alisu di Negeri. Badia mahi mbozo zitasi. Sawa ani kuri ni pesa ni malia, maendo na mi weche dogalur. Foni.
the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Dear people of God, it is a great joy for the church in the for our diocese to celebrate this day with ordinations, ordinations to priesthood and the accolade. Two for priesthood, six for the accolade. It's a great gift to our church, a great gift to our diocese. We want to offer this mass in thanksgiving as we pray for and with these candidates who are going to receive this great gift of God in their lives. May the Mass we celebrate be a source of inspiration and strength for them in their ministry as they start the journey today. For them and for all their families, we ask for pardon for the sins they have committed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Oh God, who have willed to provide shepherds for your people, pour out a spirit of reverence and fortitude in your church to make these your servants worthy ministers at your altar and ardent yet gentle heralds of your gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one more forever and ever.
Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples had him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and told them, Follow him, and said to them, What do you see? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying. And they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who had John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, So you are Simon, the son of John? You shall be called Hephaz, which means Peter.
Sernaria Frances Akenunga.
after inquiry among the people of Christ and upon the recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found well. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ that we choose the, these men, our brothers, for the order of deacons. Thanks be to God. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church, as you to ordain these men, our brothers, for service as priests. Do you judge them to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon recommendations of those concerned with their training, I testify that they are being found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, and we choose these men, our brothers, for priesthood in the Presbyterian order. Thanks be to the Lord. and the priests who have 
these days being with you over the years when you are preparing in a special way to reach where you are today. They are part of your life and today I will ordain you and make you become deacons and make you become priests. It is a great day and great day of joy because to become priest is not an easy thing. I don't want to say much about it. Ask your priests and they will tell you. It takes a long time, not less than seven years. When you conceive a child, it's nine months, the child is gone. To give birth to a priest, the church takes long to prepare this man so that they mature and grow as people who understand the meaning of their calling. This is the reason why we feel joyful when we see them reaching the stage of ordination. All the seven years or eight years we have been praying. Praying for you so that you fulfill the will of God in your lives. And today, here you are, coming to fulfill the will of God. In you, the Lord will continue to fulfill His promise to be a good shepherd for His people. A shepherd who knows and cares for his sheep. You will continue the heritage of Jesus Christ. You will continue the heritage of many priests, bishops and holy men who have inspired you and have helped you to appreciate the calling that you are embracing today. You are blessed today. You have to be ordained, yes, on a special day when the church celebrates a great man, St. Gregory the Great. St. Gregory the Great, one whose name has remained a strong map in the history of the church. Why? Because of his dedication, because of his identity with the church, because of his great teachings. To strengthen the faith of the people that are been given to his care. In the office of reading on the life of St. Gregory the Great, today, we find this beautiful expression. The Son of God, I will make you the watchman of the people of Israel, of the house of Israel. Gregory uses the image of being watchman. Because he himself considered himself as a watchman. He understood his vocation as a, a role of a watchman. And who is a watchman? Probably it's a service, it's a role that not many will desire to be in. But in the image of the church in the scriptures, this is a very powerful image. We shall believe if you and me and all other people called to serve in the church embrace, we, like Gregory, grow strongly in the spirit of their calling. A watchman is one who is always awake, is vigilant.
vigilant. I don't think anybody wants to get a watchman who sleeps together with him. I remember one time in Congo we had a watchman who was drinking a lot. As soon as he came to, to serve at 7, 7 30, he's sleeping. But we will tolerate and say, let him rest now when we are awake so that when we go to sleep, he will be awake. But later he started checking. Even at 10, at 11, he's sleeping. I told him, you men, you came to sleep, now you are beginning to, you are beginning to pay us rent. He said, no, 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 I don't sleep. I said, okay. Another day he was sleeping. And snoring, I lit a cigarette and put in his nose. When he sleep, he dismissed and woke up. I said, you are a watchman. Watchman needs to be vigilant. Awake. You will be awake to see the signs of the presence of God and impart it to the people that has given to you. Without losing the opportunity, you are teaching your way of life. A watchman in the old tradition will, will be kept in a higher space so that he could see far. He sees far. He sees far so that when the enemy is come, he is aware and is prepared to protect his people with a man of our sight. Gregory was such a man. And I thought he's a very beautiful image for you to start your day as an day minister, as a watchman. If you sleep, your sheep will be eaten up by things you will not want them to get. And so we pray for you. You have chosen the readings that are quite inspiring and proper for the celebration of your day. The letter to the Hebrews, the second reading. It is said, a priest is taken from among the people. Taken from among the people. You have been chosen, you have been picked.
serving the sin, the youth. Your calling is supposed to be your service. And this is to be done in spirit of humility. Because the priest does not take, but is taken. Is named and chosen. And this is the step you have taken today, and God is confirming you in it. We pray that the journey that you started many years ago will make you recall how it started also. Without forgetting it, go back to the road. How it started. You remember the first reading that you chose the little somewhere. I always imagine somewhere is a little older than an adolescent. <coughs> Hardly beginning to learn how to live and what life is all about. Very young. Poor boy was enjoying his sleep and the voice came to disturb and interrupt his sleep. Samuel, Samuel, what is it? He goes to Eli. Are you calling me? No, guy, God is dead. I did not call you. He starts sleeping. Samuel, Samuel. He did not complain, but he went to, to Eli again. And again, are you calling me? Till he got the instruction that helped him to clarify what is this voice all about. He clarified with the help of Eli. The voice that was proper to him in his interior life was upgraded better by the help of Eli, a man of God, a prophet. Know who your Eli has been. When you say you are called, people believed. And the church put a structure to help you to discern, to shape yourself and be ready with the help of an early in your life. Your teachers in the seminaries, they were your early. Your parents who have always been helping you in one way or another, my son, you know you are a seminarian. Behave as such, then you are early. The fellow priests, they have been your early in many ways. When you met them in the pastoral setting, when you see their lifestyle, they inspired you. So many early in your life for sure. And you treasure them, you appreciate them, you thank them. Be grateful. Consider how much they have done to make you be what you are. Ali is the voice of discernment. You have made so many discernments. To help you purify the motivation that you started the journey with. To help you know better and understand what is all about, what is this calling. So much so that today you say, yeah, um, yeah, is your servant. I'm coming to do your will. And you want to embrace that with confidence to move forward as a seminarian, I recall. In the stage we call novitiate. A time in which you must struggle to let go so many things as religious. I had this attachment.
attachment to people and some things. And my novice must have knew that. I always wanted to keep contact with all the friends that I had before I went to the novice. I had also certain likings in the novice they were calling us for sobriety. I like the color blue, I used to look for color blue, the novice man said, you cut off from that. Be free. And he has an expression.
Friedrich Paul Bataille Savignon. You are being sent today in a world like the time of Jesus Christ, where everything is politicized. The absolutization of politics. This is the world where you are going. And you know, at the time of Jesus, the leaders, the scribes, they became political. And when Jesus did not heed to what they expected, they were hard on him. You will find this spirit. You will find this spirit. But again, be vigilant. Be vigilant. And never be afraid. And never treat anybody, even those who harass you, as an enemy. They are your daughters, they are your sons. You are called to help them recognize the beauty of life. You will walk in a world today where people go for new things, new fashions, certain way of life, even in the tradition of the church, you will hear people say, ah, this is pre-Vatican. The style of dress, in clerical, I don't know what, certain devotions, they may say, ah, this is pre-Vatican. This is for old people. But sometimes this has been a struggle in life that we need to be strong about to bring back the healthy tradition of the church in order to make our church grow with the history and with the great tradition. After all, Jesus himself was privatical. And so we must embrace him with the history of humanity that we have. We live in a world where many health values are emphasized that can make you forget your principal work, principal ministry. People will talk in terms of great achievements, successes, progress that you have to make. These are beautiful things. But remember, you are a prophet. This happy talking may derail you. Stick to what the scripture tells you. Stick to what the scripture tells you. One time I was for a confession among the CCR. They invited me to hear confession to celebrate Mass. And, uh, one man, he came not knowing me and me not knowing him. Very brave. He was a Palestinian Jew who became a Catholic. Not only Catholic, but CCI. He came before he started the confession. He sat next to me like Deacon here. He said, Father, I don't want priests who come in the church to begin telling stories to begin talking of their successes. What priests who respect the word of God? Then they are despair, prepare a small story. I said, now you are present, present the homily. It was a challenge. But the expectation of the church for us is to drill the word of God and make it eatable transform their lives. Because as Mother Teresa said, I consider it a beautiful expression that God has made you not to be calm, successful. He has made you to be faithful.
Just like everybody else who has taken a commitment is going to be faithful. That faithfulness is what pleases God most. May we all be faithful. The Lord be with you. Thank you. 
chakra chakra. A word from God. Some of you will be will. You will be a one of my baby. You will be a one of my baby. You will be a one of my baby. Kau wajibnya buat ini, buat ini. Malaysia betul betul buat ini, mana tu mampai? Ewan buat ini, dan mana kenyang, dan mana kenyang mampai? Kau buat dan mana kita betul betul tinggi, wekara, ikhwan yang mampai, yang awal ni, mau dorong lawak keren. Ewan ini akan dek 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 guru guru negeri, kerana kita buat dan mana tak boleh. Eto kudar 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 suwe karman e Okonyuki duwa uji teng klise Masago na ewa shunye e legu kiki Man e legu kachetnye Ibe ibe dan magiche dan magiche kunyish mate Man lupi ma mupi e kiko pinche na mani pata zoni mani e mune apero kwa mboni ama iko zo Anji amani Please don't be a man in this. My cousin is a Ruskuni. Patrick Jesusu, my cousin Cerebro Jesusu, Eri Ejo Ewaroni. Ejo this is Monguka, as in the letter, Chitara, Mani, and Kozozo. A chance to be a baby, or to be a baby, and 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 to be a baby. Ekle askari kwa gai hivi yendele le, mo mangu ba itabiri, erebini nje ni kili adrompe yuko engazo ba yendi ni mesele, ni le mangu ba yendi ni mjoku, alisikuna adrompe engazo ni mesele, kuzu asikazo yendi kani si mama yuko asiri matia, ekle sangu yule. Ei mani mavi, bandra ei maza kopi, umbeta ni maji umbezo risiko, baadhi ya vyo kwa ei ma, elironi, kile ei ma, baba le, chipika le, baadhi ya vyo kwa ei maza kopi tiki, umbeta ni, lakini, mapere ei ma, kulo pi, pi, adroni, makuwe juu asiiza, mswa ni kuwa la, asi 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 adroni ni kazo, ijo, baadhi ni ije, kiko kwa rupi. As ye kini, le mo kusa address the place ya maro, pari e in fa sezuri, mo bure mo masepa the place ya ruas, e ima itani kuzwe dezo ati kupe. A idi e kini, mega kini e idi e chudo ati atripi e ima atripi ya se patere aro, pane nyo kini pezo body e ima a zero, mo a ima atripi pe le das e ima a ipresu. O ata ino azo ni maipi ya zile le tasa ni malia. Eche ni e ili kini. Le ma. Yo kini e ili chanti bongo. Yo ni ari kati ibo ni ni kum. E donga ya chido edo. Makanya. Tua lo ni maipi ka azili pie. Mwabu ba. Bazali. Mwabu bi ni ba. Malani. Kuturi. Iti ili ya kia ni kini. Mako ba. E ili. Kemu asing kasu di masalah di masa, mandi ini untuk kau eh eh ini 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 ada di masa pas pilih ber. Jadi asal tu ini dia sih opos nanti di sini tu tu ni nanti mampu nanti aite berokor ini. Et 
By your own free choice, you seek to enter the Hall of Deacons. You shall exercise this ministry in the celibate state, for celibacy is both a sign and a motive of pastoral charity, and a special source of spiritual fruitfulness in the world. By living in this state, with total dedication, moved by a sincere love for Christ and the Lord, you are consecrated to Him in a new and a special way. By this consecration, you will adhere more easily to Christ with an undivided heart. You will be more freely at the service of God and humankind. You will be more untrammeled in the ministry of Christian conversion and rebirth. By your life and character, you will give witness to your brothers and sisters in faith that God must be loved above all others, and that it is He who you serve in others. Therefore I ask you, in the presence of God and the Church, are you resolved as a sign of your interior dedication to Christ to remain celibate for the sake of the kingdom and in lifelong service to God and humankind? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. May the Lord help you to persevere in this commitment. Amen. 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 Awoni, mengu mwa mwenyeji, iyo, bedu, tunusoma. Wekara kinyu, la kinyu, mi chini gini mani ya kinyu, mi kire za uizo, kifu kishu, mabongo maeni. My sons, before you are ordained deacons, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church's ministry? by the laying on of hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Are you resolved to discharge the office of deacon with humility and love in order to assist the bishop and the priest and to serve the people of Christ? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Are you resolved to hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience as Apostle urges and to, and to proclaim this faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and the church's tradition? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Are you resolved to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours for the church and for the whole world? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Are you resolved to shape your way of life always according to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you will give to the people? I am with the help of God. 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 Thank 
Pani Hongkongu, do Chiwe Chinyu, do Yapiskoki, do Chiche, Union, if you want it. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God who has begun a good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God who has begun a good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Africa, 
God's way. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray that the all-powerful Father may pour out the gifts of heaven on these servants of his, whom he has chosen to be deacons and priests. Let us hear.
patience and gave your help to this act of our ministry. We judge this man worthy to serve as deacons and priests, and we ask you to bless them and make them holy and grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand. Thank you. 
de, de Corus.
are mighty and eternal God, you are the source of every honor and dignity for all progress and stability. You watch over the growing family of humankind by your gift of wisdom and your pattern of order. When you had appointed high priests to rule your people, you chose other men next to them to rank and in dignity, to be with them and to help them in their tasks. And so they have grew up the ranks of priests and the offices of Levites established by sacred rites. In the desert, you extended the spirit of Moses to 70 wise men who helped them, who helped him to rule the great company of his people. You shared among the sons of Aaron the fullness of their father's power to provide worthy priests in sufficient number for the increasing rites of sacrifice and worship. With the same loving care, you gave companions to your son's apostles to help in teaching the faith. They preached the gospel to the whole world. Lord, grant also to us as faith workers, for we are weak and our need is greater. Almighty Father, grant to these servants of yours the dignity of the priesthood, renew within them the spirit of holiness. As co-workers with the order of bishops, may they be faithful to the ministry that they receive from you, Lord God, and to be others a model of right conduct. May they be faithful in working with the order of bishops so that the words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth and the family of nations made one in Christ, may become God's one holy people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lega Magdalena, when we miss prayer, now our two brothers are no longer people, but priests. Victor Robert, my father, Maxwell, Africa. Is it that easy? Let me stop it up. I will see it. I'm stopping the DA. I'm not 
May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. Accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to Him. Know what you are doing and imitate the misery you celebrate. Model your life on the misery of the Lord's cross. Accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to him. Know what you are doing and imitate the misery you celebrate. Model your life on the misery of the Lord's cross. Ecclesia nel caso a 
Let us pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Christ, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Father, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Be pleased to confirm in faith. 
faith and charity, you have been doing church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Raphael, our Bishop, with all our bishops. These your servants who have been ordained today as ministers for the church, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give them kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good.
king takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sake of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Gregorio Manei, Thank you. 
by Chair Parson, also with us. Your most welcome. So our MPs with us here, they are MPs, they are most welcome. Maybe we will also be having some ministers with us here, or women MPs, you are also most welcome. We also have our district candidate, you are most welcome. We have uh, also the business community here, you can also see the, the chairperson of the NRM with us here. All of you are most welcome. The other dignitaries will be introduced to us later. And uh, we have the priests and religious here. The priests in a special way sits in this name. They, are, they will be introduced by their chairperson to the new, their new brothers so that they will together with them, that fraternity that was emphasized. But otherwise, we want to welcome the religious sisters. You are most welcome in your different congregations. We thank you for being the other elements of this young one. In the same way, we also thank the religious brothers for coming. We also thank you for being other elements for this young one. The program thereafter will be as follows. We shall have the presentation of the ordination certificates to this newly ordained so that if anybody doubts, they can present that on such a day by this mission that we are reading and the actual day witnessed by you. And thereafter, we shall have some few remarks. The first will be by the government representative, then we shall have a remark that shall be done by the designated person. Then we shall have a representative of the newly ordained. We shall have some announcements in the first of the The bishop will give us the final remark. And the year after, we shall go. We don't want to be long here. Church now that the mass is ended, the church is not for other businesses. And after that, we shall have, we shall give gifts to the new ordained. Because by this night, the deacons already should begin going back to school. They have been ordained, but they are going, they, they should have been there at school yesterday, but the bishop requested that they should be here for ordination. And so immediately after here, they will begin. What we shall give them now will help them for their transport. Those of us who are concerned with their formation will confirm to you if they are reached when they are right there. So with this main request, the bishop present the ordination gifts to these candidates. Thank you. The ordination certificates, they are not the ordination gifts, sorry for that. I like the alertness of the brothers. Yes, so they are, they will be called each by his name, just as they will uh, be ordained personal. Certificate for Reverend Father Robert Etoum. Thank 
Lincoln, John Kennedy, Cassandra. Certificate for Reverend Deacon Francis Agenona. Certificate for Reverend Deacon Cleva Makechi. Certificate for Reverend Deacon Donald.